is my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. First off, basic couple concepts for the back mount. Typically speaking, for me, the way that I play back mount, I want to have my choking arm. So if you think about it this way, you've got your underarm control arm and you've got your choking arm here. This is the one that seals the deal, this is the one that finishes, right? So whenever I'm playing on a side, I want my choking arm on the bottom because I can come in and get the finish here, right? And I can use this hand for all sorts of different options. Whereas if we were to switch here, okay, if I get the choke here, he can turn his face to ceiling and I lose it. And also, this arm just doesn't have a lot going on. It's like a little like a little Finding Nemo hand, right? It doesn't got much anything going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to the side. Now, a lot of times, the problem with this is that people can get their shoulders down pretty easy. So again, like we're here and here, we got this position, he can start scooting his shoulders down to the mat and then we lose the position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a way to use, I typically call it the halfback position. So a lot of times in jiu-jitsu, if I took the back somehow, I'll, I'll get my points, especially if it's a tournament, right? I'll get my points and then afterwards, I almost always switch under. So I'll either go under this leg here or just uh, cr uh, cup right behind the legs here, cross them, and I can extend the person out if I need to get the hooks or just hang on to this. Now, what this does is if, if he tries to turn his back to the mat now, go ahead, he can't turn his hips, right? His hips are locked in place, and now this allows me to attack the choke a little bit easier. Now, let's come in a little bit closer here, and we'll take a look at the grips for this choke. So first off, guys, we're gonna sp uh, do a simple cross coll or collar choke here. I'm gonna feed the lapel to my hand, and what I do is I flip the lip up, so I can get a better grip. And I actually like to post on my elbow just a little bit. So if I'm here and here with my half back position, okay, I'm gonna come up here and sort of drive him forward. Okay, later Billy. Drive him forward and then I start to work here. And my hand, the whole time, if he starts to fight, my hand's gonna be in here trying to cover this hand. So this way, if he tries to grab the, the collar hand, it's really difficult to do so. And then I can feed, protect, feed, protect. Once I get this grip, that's all I need, okay? Really simple choke, guys, from here, half Nelson, out behind the neck here, boom. We can grab the lapel here, boom. You can even from this position, just simply squeeze forward, okay? So let's look at it again, from here, however you got to the back, and this works sometimes if this guy's trying to get to the other side here, boom, we kick him over, we've got our half back position. Again, if I'm in a tournament, I'll get my points here first, and I'll typically go back here or here. Okay, from here, I'm gonna come up a little bit forward so I can start to work on this lapel. I find it a little bit easier than trying to sit down here where the arms are more exposed. So I'll come up here, start to feed into the lapel. When I feed it, I pull the collar down. Once I've got pressure against the carotid, behind the neck, here, or even just going forward. And as you go forward, you drive the person all right, as I pull the elbow back, I drive the person forward. That's a little tip for you guys as far as using the back mount. Again, I like that half back position. Um, it's not gonna be the best for every situation, but it can be incredibly helpful, especially if the person's trying to get their hips down. So I'm done. Adam? Adam.